Hi, welcome to another video on 3D printing. Uh, today I'm concentrating on the Prusa Mini and I've just had this arrive all the way from Austria. It's the Bontech extruder for the Prusa Mini. It's supposed to be an upgrade. Why did I have to go for it? The Mini has been printing reasonably well. Not as well as the, the Mark III, but reasonable. The one thing I find really annoying is the constant ticking from the extruder every time it does a retraction. Feeding filament through, it's fine. No problem at all, no noise. Every time it does a retraction, the brass gear on the extruder and the little pinion on the stepper motor collide only a fraction of a millimetre, but they're doing that all the time, snap, 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 and it gives you like a ticking noise or a clicking noise. Now, if I'm doing something else in this room, as it's a home office or on the phone, for example, and it's doing a lot of retractions, this is extremely distracting. So this is the primary reason, actually, that I'm going for it. I'll also be, also be interested to see the print quality if that changes as well. As I've read that it, this uh, upgrade does improve print quality. Uh, so we will see. So let's have a look and see what's in the box. Right, here we have the extruder. All from Bombtech. It did come sealed. Okay, first we have a card. Congratulations on purchasing, blah, blah, blah. And looks like we've got a uh, URL for instructions. So that will be rather handy. It seems extremely well packed. Uh, a sticker. And we have here, the looks of it, a a spring, some bolts, probably something for the tensioner in there by the looks of it. And here, quite well uh, packaged. Right, the extruder itself. Nicely formed. Uh, and there we have the gears, the dual gears rather than the single gear of the original Prusa. Uh, oh, this opens up. Okay, we've got a bearing in there. Ah, spur gear. Interesting. This is actually plastic. That's rather disappointing. I was expecting it to be metal. Now, th this on the Prusa gear is um, the one of the offending parts because the Prusa spur gear is brass and metal against the the metal pinion of the spur gear this is where we have the, the 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 microscopic slot between the gears and when it goes backwards and forwards on the extrusion and actually pushing the filament out uh, it goes backwards and forwards and that's where we get the slop and the ticking noise so i guess having plastic does mean that we shouldn't get that noise because it's plastic or metal. I just wonder how long that gear is actually going to last. Um, hopefully it will be good. The rest of it is really nicely made. Feels really tough. So there, there's the, the tensioner. So there we have it. So that, that's a basic unboxing of this device. The next thing will be to fit it on. So I will do another video which will show this being uh, completed, fitted on there. Uh, and then we can see how it prints and what the noise is like. So I hope this unboxing was useful for you. I don't think we've got anything left in the box there. No, nothing left. I'm impressed with the, the standard of the, the packaging and the actual device itself. So the only thing I've got concern about is that plastic gear. But um, let, let's see how it goes. Right, if you're interested to see this being put on, please subscribe and tick the like box uh, so that I can keep on doing these videos. 
Thank you very much.